Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 29, looking at how you can use the Popper format to improve your play in Magic. Popper is a 60 card constructed format that limits you to four of each card, and each card must have been printed as a common in one set or another. As you'll notice here, Rancor is included in the format, although it's an uncommon in the current standard environment. It was printed originally as a common in Urza's Legacy. When people initially hear about this environment, they often think that you're playing with underpowered or weaker cards. Nothing is farther from the truth. Popper is full of some of the most powerful cards out there. Brainstorm is one of the best, if not the best, blue card ever printed, and an extremely skill-intensive card that I've done a whole video uh, focusing around. Lightning Bolt is an incredibly fast damage spell, and Dark Ritual is one of the best accelerators out there. Definitely do not underestimate this format until you've played several games. Pretty much any type of deck can be created in Popper. Popper has some incredibly fast burn decks, also powerful combo decks, and several different varieties of control decks. It also has creature decks, ranging from combo creature decks to tribal creature decks. To give you one quick example of how useful the Popper format is, my playtest partner, Marguerite, put together a storm deck based around Wee Dragonaut several months ago. Having played against this deck several times, I was able to immediately notice the potential power in Niv Magus Elemental. When it came out in the recent Return to Ravnica set, this is the same thing that Team Channel Fireball noticed and built a deck around Niv Magus Elemental for the most recent Pro Tour in Seattle. The deck lists that we're going to look at here are ones that have done well rather recently on Magic the Gathering Online and work as examples of these different archetypes. Uh, this burn deck basically takes every version of Lightning Bolt out there and adds it all into one deck, doing an extremely large amount of damage very quickly. This is an ideal test deck for Legacy. I, any time that I put together a new Legacy deck, I'll play it against a deck similar to this, and if it can't beat this, then I'll go back to the drawing board. Affinity is another staple in many different environments that has a strong presence in Popper. This is a great example of how you can get out some very powerful creatures very quickly, and you can use the synergy between those cards to do an amazingly large amount of damage very early. Popper has several different control decks in the environment. This is a counterspell base deck that tries to win off of massive card advantage, although it also has the aspect of Delver of Secrets so that you can get early wins by flipping a Delver and protecting it with your counterspells. Storm is also a fairly easy to build deck, but fairly difficult to pilot in the Popper environment. Your kills of Empty the Warrens and Grape Shot are both used in Legacy and Modern. Against a deck like this helps you learn which cards to counter and which cards not to worry about. Effect is also another deck that works between the creature aggro decks and the combo decks that is very useful to learn how to play against and also how to play. One of the best parts about the Popper environment, though, is your ability to homebrew. The environment is rather well balanced, and it's not that difficult to build your own deck that competes with some of these top decks. This is a green-white enchantment-based deck that I found online that uses hexproof creatures to avoid removal and enchantments that combo together well produce extra damage. Constructing these decks is rather inexpensive. An online retailer, you're often able to find a deck for less than $20. So most of what you're paying for is the cost of packaging and sending the cards to you. If you want to save additional money, you can show up to a local game store such as Gamma Ray, Shades, or Ancient Comics where they have large boxes of commons. Sift through those commons yourself and pick up a deck for as little as a dollar or two. 
paper is an online format that is rather popular. It is the format with the most number of cards and least cards banned. Only two cards have been banned in a frantic search, which enables those storm decks to go off extremely early, and cranial plating, which speeds up the affinity deck that was mentioned earlier. Though it should be noted that some of the more powerful commons from the paper format have not been reprinted at the common level online. Him to Turok was reprinted as an uncommon, and Sinkhole was reprinted as a rare, so they're not in the online format. Popper is a great gateway format to playing in other formats. This is an example of Arielax's Infect deck that was played at the Grand Prix in Chicago this last weekend. It is substantially similar to the Popper Infect deck that we saw earlier and would be much easier both to pick up and play or to play against if someone already had experience with the Popper Infect deck. I also wanted to give a quick thank you out there to the Lady Walker Society here in Seattle in which both myself and my daughter Gwen have played in popper tournaments that they have put on. It's been Stifa for organizing it. This has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech looking at the popper format and how to use your commons to get better at magic. Thanks.